We're rolling. We are rolling. 2018, we're rolling. Hi, everybody. Hey, hello. Damn. Where do I start? Happy New Year. Much love and goodness to all of you, uh, whoever's watching my video. And uh, welcome to wowsuccess.org. I'm Vivian. And um, it's a pleasure to be here. I'm grateful. I'm thankful for the possibility of even just to be here. I was putting my hair in place just to get out of the way because sometimes that can just uh, get kind of annoying for me and for you. So, mwah, a happy new year. Abundance, grace, mercy, blessings abound in your life. I'm here after quite a crazy, crazy long time. I feel almost like I have to do an intro. <laughs> I've done all those intro stuff a while ago. But um, you know what? Better late than never. 2017, beautiful, blessed, been and gone. It just flew by. It, I blink and it's like gone. Because I remember, if not around about this time last year, about, okay, no offense, around about maybe late February, so it's a bit early, around about fe late February coming into March, I did my very first video on YouTube. I, I just stepped out and I was like, I've got something to say. I made an intro, told you guys a little bit about myself and what I was intending to do, etc. Long and behold, here we are in 2018, and I'm saying hi again after quite a while of being off. The last video, from what I gather, I did, I think, about early October 2017. Seriously? No, no, no! This is not Vivian. That was just me taking up time, and I think I was procrastinating because I was holding on to a few things that I was trying to think in my mind, in my own strength, that I was capable of doing, when yet I believe... We need to just rely on the forces that come from above and in his own perfect time, things just happen. So that is a learning curve for me. And from that experience, I've come out wiser and I've got to be a better person because I wouldn't be here talking to you now um, had it not been maybe because of those experiences and maybe what I was going to be sharing with you this year or even this moment won't be as impactful as it may have been. So lovely to be back family, you know, I've got my little small, little small number of subscribers, which is fantastic. And um, yeah, so I'll tell you a little bit about what's been going on and it's great to have you here. So like the video as you go through it, share it, whatever. Okay. Um, I'll start by saying, hey, look at this lippy, mm -hmm. this here. I have to comment because it's had a, it's had quite a few um, interests and it's kind of like sparked a bit of like convo with some of my friends at school or you know when I'm doing my school run and whoever else. It happened to be actually a gift um, just before Christmas. My lovely friend um, happened to just I bumped into her at the shops. She was buying this. She bought two. She loved it so much. She bought two. She goes, "Oh, Vivian, hi, Merry Christmas. I've got two. Have one." Great, because this is phenomenal. I love it. It's NYX. Um, I don't know how it's going to appear by the video there, but he, to me, okay, what do we, what do these guys do normally? They kind of go like this and show it to the screen. <laughs> NYX. And it's, um, they're a fantastic brand, right? They are. Seriously, if you guys not, don't know about them, or if you, you probably do, I'm kind of catching up a bit. In fact, this is my second gift. I have been given one about a year ago in 20. Late 2016 in December, again, it was around about, it was kind of like a Christmas gift of sorts, but I've been given one and the color was a nude color, whereas this is like, I mean, just stare, okay? Just, just have this moment just to look at my lips. No, this is good. What's the, it's called, um, uh, it's, it's, well, normally they, they are given names, aren't they? This is just, it's, it's, it's called Copenhagen, SML. I might leave some information at the bottom if you could care to even be bothered to check. But um, it's a, it's a matte, so it's not gloss, it's not um, a shiny lippy, it's a matte. And I, I, I sometimes go through periods of time where I'm into matte. This one? This one is like doing its thing. We're having a, you know what I mean? I'm having a moment, a moment with this NOIX uh lip cream it's a lip cream okay so yeah me might want to check those out just wanted to share that and i'm having my peppermint tea um having some nice moment of nice peppermint tea trying to be very healthy i'll start by um 
I don't call them resolutions, by the way. They're not New Year's, to me, they're not New Year's resolutions. To me, they're things that will better my, better me or improve who I am or push me or um, challenge me for the year ahead. And I've got a few. And I'll start first by saying, when I put my mind to do something, this year I aim to accomplish what I put my mind to. I'll specify and explain a bit more about that. So my first point is not, you know, not delaying what you put your mind to. We can call it procrastination maybe. Um, it, it can be used for that. And I, when you know yourself, at, at the, every, now, every one of us know who we are. We know who we are and I know who I am. I know my weaknesses. I know my strengths. I know areas in which I excel and I thrive in. And I know where areas where I'm challenged or I'm in, insecure. So with that, I know this year as a person, I know that I sh I, when I put my mind to do something, I should do it. And that's a daily commitment. I, I aim to write more what I plan to do. So my goals for the day, specifically for the day, to, br to break it down, preferably with, speak, speak, um, with uh, literally um, stipulating at what time of the day I may want to achieve some of these things. Anything from dishes, clothes being sorted, or any little thing that is part of who I am to make me the best person I could ever be. I have not, I hand up, I'm not a diary person, I'm not a note-taking person, because I have got a, a collection, I tend to go to shops and I will buy, excuse me, I'll show you this a moment, and it's, I have in the room. <laughs> she walks away from the video. Oh yes, check this top out. We're doing the shoulders, we're doing the shoulders. Do you know what, there's a vlogger or a YouTuber, Patricia Bright, and she's all about the shoulders. My girl, she's all about the shoulders. And this year, you might be seeing a lot of this. And a bit of this you know it's 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 i find it it's chic it's class you're not showing so much there's nothing about legs and all that cleavage stuff that some girls can kind of get out there to do you know i'm a woman of god and i love to say at the end of the day portray who you are be you do you first but yeah i'm loving this little top and it's just kind of just shows a bit of feminine you know feminicity and a feminine side of myself coming out so yeah i'm uh kind of like uh, slaying with this little top so I'm hoping you know let me know what you think it might not be your thing but yeah yes so I was just grabbing my notebook so back here this says diary 2017 can I show you something this thing is nearly empty there are some notes of taking it I took here random stuff that I do so in the what happens is I'll I'll pick up like a diary or a notepad and then I'll I will start filling pages. When well, you know when you kind of like have a zeal of you've bought something so you want to use it. I've got about three others within the house, different sizes. Big lesson here. Note, take note, aim, focus, precision, focus, and attack and conquer. That's my aim. Once I put something, my mind to something, I would push myself to do it. In many things and in areas of my life, I tend to be quite good at that, but I tend to shy away sometimes with those bigger challenges. Um, so that's one big important thing. Secondly, for myself, fitness, well health, and well-being. A little bit obsessed about this at the moment, I'll be honest with you. I really am. Um, I'm loving having to just work out in my lounge when I've done a screw drop. I'll come home and I've got a Davina McCall um, DVD. Um, you can download them. I think you, uh, Amazon have got it as well. And um, oh, I think my recording is playing up a little bit. So I might have to do an addition to this video. So far, so good. So yeah, I work out, there's some, uh, I'll show you what particular DVD that is. Sorry, I couldn't refer to it. But it does a lot of fat burning, toning, and I had a lovely workout today, phenomenal. I know for sure that loving me helps my mental space, my head space, be a better mom, be a better friend, all that stuff does make a difference. And oh my God, oh, my lovely lippy has gone too close to comfort too close for comfort right now it's on my tooth sorry guys 
Mm. I think that's gone. <laughs> yeah, I think it has. Let me just double check. Oh, I've got a lovely mirror in front of me. But I've got a feeling it's on my tooth. I apologise. How rude. Gosh, this lippy is rude. <laughs> I've got a rude lippy. Rude. On that note, so yeah, well-being, health, eating good, fitness. I'll do more of my um, smoothie mixes, uh, juices and soups for you like I did last year. We're back into that yet again, more so than ever before. Watch this space. That's the second thing. Third thing is I will pretty much aim to be a best friend I could ever be, a sister and a mum. I think building on my relationships, places where I feel I haven't kind of finished off from last year or things that have kind of like staggered a bit, kind of like water those little areas a little bit and revive a few things in that department. So those are the key th things that I'm aiming to kind of work on this year. Apart from obviously ambitions and plans that I have for my business and work, um, I'll do another video about that probably shortly after this one. But those three things I've pointed out to you are more on the personal level. So they were not procrastinating, making sure I'm looking after my health, my wellness and my fitness. This is drinking water, looking after my skin, loving myself, working out. All those kind of things go in there. And then, of course, lastly, my relationships. I think with goals and ambitions, don't aim to do so much. Let's put them like in a short little uh, section so that, that way you don't burn out. So, for example, those three things, if I can every now and again review where I am with these things, I'll do better than going overload. See you on the next video because I think I better do one shortly because this video is kind of like trying to warn me that I'm coming, well, that it's just about to cut, bizarrely enough. But anyway, we'll leave it there right now, but just uh, keep, keep tuned because I'm just going to do a next one and this one will be more about where we're at with work. Love you loads. Bless you. Love, like, share and subscribe. Bye.